We won't carry out the ZE test. Now obviously to carry out this test I need to take the cover off of the distribution board. Before I do that, I, I must isolate the system. So I've isolated it and locked it off. Everything's safe now. But it's still a live test, so great care must be taken at all times. I've disconnected the earthing conductor because I don't want any parallel paths. So when I do the test, I just need to know the resistance between here and our supply transformer. To carry out the test, I need an earth fault loop impedance test instrument. Okay, with leads to GS38, the contacts need to be covered as maximum as possible. Okay. To do the test is a simple process. I can put this instrument on the high current. I need to connect the crocodile clip to the disconnected earthing conductor and then just test between one line incoming line to earth and I've got a value there of 0.17. But of course, I need to know the highest value, so I need to do the test between all three lines. 0.17, and again, 0.17. So they're all consistent, so my value of ZE would be 0.17 of an ohm.